Hello students, this is the second video on time value of money concept wherein future value of money will be explained. Already I made first video. In that video I have explained how to calculate future value with annual compounding as well as multiple compounding periods even that is half yearly, quarterly, monthly. How to calculate future value that I have explained. I will share the link of that video in the i button as well as in the description box. Please do watch that video before watching this video to better understand the concept of time value of money that is specially future value of money calculation. In this video, I will cover the concept and solve problems on future value of money of series of payment deposited at the end of the year. In the sense what? When you deposit a regular amount annually, what will be the future value and how to calculate the future value in that situation when the amounts are uniform or non-uniform. That I will explain. Besides, I will also explain the future value of regular or deferred annuity table even. How to uh, find out the values as per the table even. So let's start this video. So here I have furnished the uh, answer of the uh, question for which was given in the last uh, video that is first video as an exercise problem I have given. I told in that video that I will provide the answer in the next video. So this is the answer. You can cross check this uh, answer with your answers. So here I have provided uh, two answers that is future value of money with different compounding periods and effective interest rate calculation when dif when different compounding periods takes place. So please do cross check these answers. When you come to the future value of money of series of payment, we have two concepts that is deposited at the end of the year and deposited at the beginning of the year. In both the concepts, we have two sub concepts. Uh, please uh, try to understand that is non-uniform payments in the sense different amounts deposited annually uh, that is fluctuating or non-uniform when uniform amount is deposited in the sense let's say 5000 every year you are depositing in both the situation how to calculate the future value that i have explained but in this video i will cover only first part that is deposited at the end of the year i will make one more video that is video number three where i will explain deposited at the beginning of the year clear so let's start this video deposited at the end of the year when you talk about deposited at the end of year the under that non-uniform payment when it is non-uniform payment the formula for calculation of vn in the sense future value of money at nth period is equals to r1 into 1 plus i whole to the power of n minus 1 plus r2 into 1 plus i whole to the power of n minus 2 so on we have to do till the last installment that is rn so in this way you have to apply the formula and find out the answer where vn is equals to future value of money at n period r1 is equals to payment after period 1 r2 payment 2 payment after period 2 rn payment after nth period i is equals to interest rate n is equals to number of years this is the precise formula that we will apply to calculate the future value of non-uniform payments let's understand uh, with the question this question the future value at the end of fifth year we have to calculate at the rate of 10 percent 1000 deposited at the end of first year 2000 at the end of second year 3000 at the end of third year 2000 at the end of fourth year 1500 at the end of fifth year so different amounts have been deposited at the end of first second third fourth and fifth year and we have to calculate the future value these amounts are non-uniform in the nature please try to understand so when you come to the answer, apply the formula P5 value at 5th year is equals that is future value at 5th year is equals to application of formula that is 1000 into 1 plus 0 0.1 whole to the power of 5 minus 1. Why did I take 0 0.1 because it is 10% right 10% will be written as 0 0.1. 5 minus 1 in the sense according to formula 5 is the number of years minus 1 I have kept next 2000 into 1 plus 0 0.1 whole to the power of 5 minus 2 so on 3000 into 1 plus 0 0.1 whole to the power of 5 minus 3 and 5 minus 4 and the finally for 1500 rupees here we are not doing anything because it is the last at the end of fifth year we are depositing so I hope you understood the application of formula further simplification will be I have provided here you can easily understand so 1000 into 1.1 whole to the power of 4 2000 into 1.1 whole to the power of 3 like this I have further simplified the equation next if you further simplify the equation that will be 1000 into 1.4641 2000 into 1.331 so on till 15, 1500 and further simplify the answer would be 1000 into 1.46 
41 that is 1464, 2662, 3630, 2200, then 1500. Like this, we have simplified the equation is equals to the answer is 11456. So, what is the future value of the amounts deposited annually at the end of the year? The 11456 is the future value of the rupee. Clear? So, this is non uniform cash inflow. When you come to the uniform cash inflows under the same concept, Formula is R into 1 plus I whole to the power of N minus 1 plus 1 plus I whole to the power of N minus 2. So on we have to calculate. What did I do here? Just I have taken R is the common value because the amount deposited every year will remain same. Therefore what we will do? We will make the summation of the factors and multiply with the R we can get the value. We will see the question. In this question 1000 at the end of every year deposited for four years interest rate is 10 percent determine the future value so the formula i have applied here is equals to v4 is equals to value at fourth year future value at fourth year is equals to 1000 is the common value i am taking because 1000 deposited every year for four years 1 plus 0 0.01 whole to the power of 4 minus 1 1 plus 0 0.1 1 whole to the power of 4 minus 2 so on till the end that is last one will be taken 1 because on last one there will be no interest will be calculated no compounding will take this like this we have applied the formula if you simplify further so that is 1.10 whole to the power of 3 plus 1.10 whole to the power of 2 plus 1.10 whole to the power of 1 plus 1 then if you further simplify the answer will be like this 1.331, 1.21, 1.10 plus 1.1. If you make the summation of all these factors, that is 4.641. Therefore, the answer is 4641. If you deposit 1000 every year for a period of 4 years at the end of the year at the rate of 10% interest, the value would be 4641. Like this, you can calculate. The uniform payment can also be calculated with the help of one more formula with it is called as future value of regular or deferred annuity this formula is 1 plus i whole to the power of n minus 1 divided by i with the help of this formula one thing i would like to uh, insist here the emphasize here that with the help of this formula table of the future value of annuity that is deferred or regular annuity table will be prepared with the help of this problem already which we have done with the help of this formula the two formulas see i am trying to give you all the possible situations so that it will be easy for you to understand the concept and apply the formulas whatever way you can calculate you can apply you can calculate so 1000 into 1 plus 0 0.1 to the power of 4 is n is equals to 4 minus 1 divided by 0 0.1 if you simplify the equation that will be 1000 into 4.641 we will get is equals to 4641 with the earlier formula also we got the same answer with the help of this formula even we got the same answer I hope you understood the concept here yes this is very significant on table that is future value of ordinary annuity or regular annuity we call it as our deferred annuity how to calculate the value on table we have deposited 1000 for four years at the rate of 10 percent so we have to take 10 percent and four years what will be the value we are getting four point the highlighted one you can see 4.6410 the same value we got 4.641 with the help of formula even so like this without using the formula you can use the table and you can find out the answer even so this is the way you can calculate the value future value of money when you have deposited annually at the end of year i hope i made you understand this future value of table you can utilize for your uh, problem solving purpose this is the exercise problem which was asked in bba usmania university x deposited 1000 per year at the rate of 7 percent copen rate of interest per annum for a period of five years cumulative interest what is the total amount at the end of fifth year here we have not been provided information whether it is deposited at the beginning or at the end but you presume it is at at the end and try to solve the problem i will provide the answer in the video number three where i will explain the series of payment deposited at the beginning of the year how to calculate that value clear so try to solve this problem and cross check with the video i will provide that video link in the i button as well as in the description box even so thank you very much for watching the video do subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative informative videos thank you very much wish you all the best